Talk about a homecoming. It's great. It's so just powerful and hyper, and I love it. For teen singing sensation Sawyer Fredericks. It's amazing. I'm so happy about the turnout, and just having this much support is just a blessing. What do you want? As far as this tiny town is concerned, he might as well be Elvis. Their Elvis. So after being ushered in with a parade, Sawyer finally, at last, took to the stage. We all get super excited. We're like screaming and like feel like his family. And boy, can he I'll sing. You own God's golden shore. The natural soulfulness of his music that just inspires America is outstanding. He captured it. Sawyer has been living here in the village of Fultonville for several years now since he was a little boy. And it's these rural farming roots he still holds very firmly to, even after achieving big time Hollywood success. I'm just happy that I've had these roots and this uh, place to grow and it's been it's been amazing. This community has watched him continue to grow on national television since he started on The Voice. When I first started off I wasn't really thinking I was going to get anything from it and I was just going to think okay let's see what happens if I go audition. Sawyer was just voted into the top five on The Voice. It was crazy I was I was basically not screaming, I was yelling. Uh. And is now being backed by his loyal hometown. So poor Sawyer, he is wonderful and he deserves everyone's vote. With the obvious goal of winning. Reporting from Fonda, I'm Alex Rosilla.